This morning, the 2016 presidential campaign is focused on a parade of Republican hopefuls. More than a dozen are wooing thousands of conservative activists at the annual gathering known as CPAC. Nancy Cordes is at the conference site in National Harbor, Maryland, just south of Washington. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, and this is where all those hopefuls test how their message resonates with the very large, all-important conservative wing of their party. In the spotlight today, former Governor Jeb Bush of Florida, who is going to have to convince skeptics that he shares their values, even if he parts ways with them on a few issues like immigration reform. Before they make it to the presidential stage, GOP hopefuls have to audition here. All right. At the country's largest conservative conference. What are you looking for in a presidential candidate? I want a leader. We need a leader. I think there's a vacuum in the world. The stakes are highest for so called establishment candidates, like Jeb Bush and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who argued he's not as moderate as some conservatives think. People make certain assumptions because you're from New Jersey and because you're a Republican from New Jersey. Um, and what they should do is look at my record. CPAC we is must. one part serious speeches. We must repeal every single word of Obamacare. One part colorful characters, with some target practice thrown in for the kids. This Georgia man is organizing a walkout when Bush speaks this afternoon. I'm going to lift my flag up, turn around, kick the dust off my feet, and walk out, and uh, we're going to have a massive bathroom break. Governor Perry. It's also a good place to gauge how these would-be candidates, like former Texas Governor Rick Perry, are preparing for a possible run. I think if anyone wants to spend the time, they can become very, very well versed in uh, all of the uh, foreign policy issues that are out there. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul has won the CPAC straw poll the last two years. But this year, he'll have stiff competition from two other conservative heroes. Abolish the IRS. Texas Senator Ted Cruz I did run track. and Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Governor, do you think it's important for the Republican nominee to agree with the conservative base on every issue? Well, I think in the end, we had solid support amongst Republicans, and we won independence by 12 points. So I think if you lead, you're going to get support across the board. This is a crowd that likes to be courted, but they don't like to be pandered to. After all, it was here in 2012 that Mitt Romney tried to argue that he had been a severely conservative governor, a comment that haunted him for months because it just didn't ring true to these voters. Gail. Thank you, Nancy.